it's, it's funny because uh, I've been hunting mobile for years before anybody yeah. even knew what mobile was. And when I would talk about mobile, people talk to me like I'm crazy. And now everybody's an expert on it. Yeah. I, uh, I, we hunt, all, uh, yeah, we always hunted mobile too. We didn't really call it that. It was more like we couldn't afford to buy uh, 30 tree stands <laughs> to put everywhere. And so we, we had one climber and that's all we had, you know, uh, mm. but no, I think in around when I started, it, uh, I don't know, essentially when I was able to help my dad and stuff, we started having some permanent sets around. Uh, but for the most part, we killed deer uh, climbers whenever I was younger. Mm. Um, I was kind of, uh, I got to thinking about this topic and I got to like kind of figuring up bucks. And I think all the, out of all the bucks I've killed, which is around, around 28, I've only killed all but two, all but two have been killed on like the first sit. Mm -hmm. Um, and I would encourage, yeah, I would encourage anybody like think about your bucks that you've killed. And I almost Mm -hmm. guarantee they were on the first sit if I had to guess. Well, not necessarily, but the biggest ones, you you know, like not mine, all of mine have been, well, okay. But, uh, you, you know, when I look back, I mean, I've killed a lot of, you know, average nice deer, you know, like, like, Pope and young, but just, you know, like 125 yeah. to maybe 140. Yeah. I've killed a lot of those off of multiple sits or whatever. But as soon as I get into that next age class, the deer that I've gotten that are like five or older, almost all of those first yeah. sit. Either first sit or first sit for the year. And it's spots that you hardly ever hunt. Matter mm-hmm. of fact, I would say that the, the very biggest deer I get are usually in some crazy spot where you wouldn't regularly hunt or you wouldn't even think to hunt. And you're only there because of that buck because they find some niche where nobody goes. Right. Right. What do you consider a first set? Is it like a first set in an area or like the first, like the, the tree? Like, uh, I would, you know, that's kind of a hard question to answer because I would say that the first sit in an area, but the size of an area is hard to dictate. Yeah. I mean, you can be a hundred yards over and be in a whole different area to me. It's one spot and another spot a hundred yards over is, uh, educating the deer that you're there. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I will say that the, uh, closer you get on previous hunts, the less likely you're going to kill that buck. Right. I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to rethink about everything. If I was going to like, just do areas, I was kind of thinking like trees. Like I, I probably killed some deer where I've jumped around in an area. Um, you, know, you know, a lot of times, like, like what I'm thinking when you're saying that is a lot of times I will go and I will purposely go in from a way where I come up against a fence or a tree line where the deer aren't really using my side of the fence or tree line. Yeah. And I'll hunt right on the tree line and try to get close enough to get an arrow in there. And those deer don't seem to know they've been hunted. And then you can literally make another move as long as they don't walk over and smell where you've been. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if they come through that area and they smell where you've been, the mature bucks will figure you out. Matter of fact, you, you know, you ever check out when a mature buck crosses your track in snow? They follow your prints back and forth, up and down, and they learn everything you, you did. You know, you see it in the morning, you know, after you've been there, and you're like, holy crap, this guy is yeah. just checking out right to the trees, smelling my steps and everything. You know, why doesn't he do that while I'm in the tree? But Yeah, it's all, it's probably, I mean, just like a, we used to run beagle dogs, you know, whenever a deer or a beagle's trying to like figure out a rabbit and they just, you know, mm-hmm. go back and forth until they figure it out and keep going. Um, and then deer's nose is, you know, better. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Hey, everybody. If you like the channel, make sure you subscribe right here. And if you like the clips, I got two more options for you. Two options right here. Subscribe right here. See you guys.